Well, welcome back. I know it's been a while. I've been pretty busy. So, we'll just get right to it. I'll try to make this video quick and painless. I've uh, been doing uh, some construction lately and was adding on to a building and I decided that uh, it needed a, a pretty cool door and a good place to start with that was some pretty cool hinges and I went and looking around looking around looking around couldn't really find anything that was like a nice hinge that wasn't just a really flimsy piece of junk for a decent price um, so I decided to make my own and uh, cut right to the chase made these monsters they uh, Pretty heavy duty. It's a three quarter inch through pin, one and a quarter inch barrels. It's all nice and pretty TIG welded inside. And get rid of the glare. All TIG welded stainless steel. It really pays to have access to uh, a CNC machine that you get to play with uh, every day as well as a really big laser that will cut really heavy plate. These are uh, about 6 pounds, 12 ounces a piece. This is quarter inch stainless steel plate. It's just regular uh, 304. And the barrels and pins are also made out of 304 stainless steel. I put some brass washers between uh, the pivoting points and this little brass screw in the bottom is just holding this big uh, stainless washer to kind of give it a eh, more finished look so it matches the the pin up on top there but uh, like I said just wanted to do a quick video haven't put out a video in a while I'm kind of trying to get into the YouTube thing we'll kind of see how it goes it's off to a pretty slow start been super busy with this construction thing and with some other uh, build projects um, but like I said, these are six and three quarter pounds a piece and I believe, well, what is that? That's, uh, somewhere on the ballpark, eight or nine inches tall. And this piece here is, I think total length, about 14 inches and some change. If you count this piece in the back. Um, so real usable space is around 13 and 3 quarter, 13 and 5 eighths. I'm not going to polish them up or anything because the exterior of the building is going to be a, um, a galvanized metal. So just the regular raw finish stainless will kind of blend in with that really well. I don't want it to be too gaudy. But the next part of the project, if I've got hinges this big man that's got to be a heavy door right you're probably right and what about the other side of the door you can't just use some regular doorknob or deadbolt or little hasp and padlock so we'll have to build something cool for that end too like I said Sometimes when you need something and you want heavy duty, you just have to do it yourself. Because most commercial heavy duty just isn't heavy duty enough. You're not breaking these hinges off. I don't care who you are. You're going to spend a lot of time and make a lot of noise. Plus, you could drive the pin out if you take the screw out, pop the washer off, you can start hammering on that pin probably get it to pop out the top except for there's a hardened set screw that goes into the pin I don't think you're breaking that not gonna happen maybe if you brought a great big old hydraulic press and something uh, like a two foot thick concrete block to set it on but now I'm just giving people ideas so it's pretty late I gotta go to bed get up and do it all over again tomorrow have a good night youtubers and a good day whenever this video gets posted keep it real be safe and have a good time 
I'll see you next time.